Oh, hello, denizens of the internet. How are you today? Well, today's topic is very exciting. It's the one year anniversary of my Hackintosh. How's it been going? Has it burst into flame? Has it tried to take over the world? Has it eaten all the squirrels in my backyard? Stay tuned to find out. Nerd alert. This is one of Paul's tech-related videos. It is not one of his funny posts, or one of his attempts at being funny posts. Okay, you might think that none of them are funny, but we know lots of people who do think they are funny, so shut up. What has it been like running this Hackintosh for one year? Has it been problematic? Has it been good? Well, before I get to that, let me just quickly explain to the uninitiated out there just exactly what a Hackintosh is. Well, we all know Apple makes computers. They make Macintoshes, MacBook Pros, Airs, the Mac Pro, Mac Mini, and the iconic iMac. I didn't need an iMac. I've got lots of monitors and I didn't want to buy a Mac Mini because frankly it's a piece of shit and I've covered that in a previous video and I don't want to talk about that again. And the Mac Pro is a ridiculous computer that is out of date. So a Hackintosh is essentially a Windows computer, a Windows PC, but without Windows. And there's a way to install the Mac OS on it. Now, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not uh, something that I would recommend for anybody, but if you're a tinkerer and you like building computers, then it's actually not that difficult installing Mac OS on the, the, your, your computer. The other advantage is that I can put in whatever kind of uh, parts into this box that suits my needs. So as a content creator, I wanted a robust um, graphics card, a really, really powerful um, CPU, and I wanted a big beefy power supply. And uh, you can't do that um, by buying the, the, you know, the computer from Apple, but you can do it if you build it yourself. So in this case, I've got an Intel uh, 4790K, and I've got that CPU overclocked, Sapphire R9 280X graphics card, um, with lots of cooling, water-cooled CPU cooler, uh, Corsair 750 watt power supply. So that's that's a, a lot of beefy pieces in there. And the idea that any one of those would fail is pretty limited. To be honest, I think all Hackintosh owners have this sort of Damocles hanging over our heads waiting for this whole thing to collapse um, or for Apple to provide an OS that uh, doesn't let us uh, upgrade our system. So all these things are real and legitimate um, issues. Uh, but for the most part, this has been running absolutely fantastically for the uh, for its first year. Will it run reliably as uh, all the Macintoshes I've had in the past? I've uh, I had a Mac Pro uh, from 2006, and it ran for a good five years, and then I had to hack it to run for another five years. So I had 10 years worth of use out of that computer. Will I get 10 years of use out of this? I don't know. But, you know, one of the good things about building your own computer is that I can upgrade any of these components as things change. But there are some clouds on the horizon. So right now, part of uh, the Hackintosh uh, world requires Apple to support certain computer components within its OS. So if, if they aren't building new computers and they're not upgrading their internals to the latest components that are being sold out there by AMD and, and Intel and NVIDIA, then it's really hard to um, put those components in our computers because you need to have the basic code um, in there supplied by Apple. So things are never perfect when Apple supplies the code and, and the Hackintosh community finds you know their way to make it work. But if it's not in there to begin with, then chances are that um, you won't be able to upgrade. And case in point is NVIDIA uh, fairly recently came out with a 10 series of graphics cards, the 1060, 1070, 1080, uh, and none of those work on any Hackintoshes because NVIDIA has not provided any drivers. So the Hackintosh community is stuck with the previous generation of nine series cards, the 960, 970, 980, 980 Ti, etc., etc. Um, well, those aren't bad cards, but they're not the latest cards, uh, which is a bit of a consternation. Uh, on the upside, you can, uh, on eBay, buy the nine series graphics cards much cheaper now than when they were first uh, in retail. Uh, but that's a, that's, you know, that's a bit of a concern. You're figuring that uh, that is part of the 
shortening of the life of the Hackintosh experience. Uh, that being said, you can now use the latest AMD for 60, 470, and 480 graphics cards, but they're more difficult to get running um, on uh, the Mac OS and they only run on Sierra. So I would have to upgrade this computer if I wanted to uh, install one of the latest uh, AMD cards. And one of the advantages of using AMD cards is that it supports something called OpenCL and the Mac OS is an OpenCL friendly OS, which means uh, Final Cut Pro and Logic run much, much faster with those style of graphics cards. So that's, that's really an issue. But uh, Apple is coming out with new hardware in the near future. Uh, and there, there are some rumors around that they might abandon the Intel CPU and go with the new Ryzen AMD CPUs, which would be interesting because while they're, they're not the greatest for gaming, uh, neither is the Mac OS. And the Ryzen CPUs look like they are just phenomenal for productivity software. That would be really, really exciting to see those, uh, you know, the Ryzen AMD chips running on Mac OS. And if the next update of the Mac OS supports Ryzen, then I guarantee you the Hackintosh community will rally around and make their Hackintoshes work with those Ryzen chips. So that potentially could be very, very exciting. So I won't get um, any any further in that. Uh, that's That's pretty much my roundup for running this Hackintosh. It's been fantastic. I'm going to keep it on El Capitan for the next little while. And yes, uh, you know, whenever you're working with a Hackintosh, you're thinking that it's going to pack it in at any, at any moment. I don't know why, maybe this is just my own personal um, mania, but uh, so far, so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, subscribe um, and like it and all those other things. We will talk to you later.